On the tables, I put just a prop. You can see it's just kind of a any any old prop. I got a, what, a cutting board over there. Raise that up there. Yeah, and that's a that's a screen. You know, like a what is that? It's a crash gun. Spatter. Yeah, spatter. Spatter. Right. And over here we have a yeah tongs, and, and here we have a, a feather duster. But one of the one of the neat exercises, the things you can do to reframe and to, is, is to rename things. Just simply rename them and, and use them accordingly. You know? For instance, if we had time, we pass this around to everybody, everybody get a chance to pretend that this is, you know, it's a whole it's a, the whole realm of play. Sorry to be behind you here. But all the whole realm of <laughs> Just a minute, hold on. <laughs> Where was I? Hold on just a second. Oh, no. <laughs> So, how long have you been here? <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my hairdresser uh, passed on uh, just a couple months ago, and uh, he was one of the most entertaining uh, professionals, you know, that I I, I went to, and, and uh, I, I miss him. I miss him a lot, but in great sense of humor. But he. Uh, along with what I'm telling you, the whole idea of thinking outside the box and renaming things, sim- simple things like a juggling club could be, you know, do, do you like my order? Because Please. I'm giving them, yeah, I'm giving them my order. And, and you can tell how, you know, we're, we're able to, to kind of push away the, the stereotype images of a cutting board. And it could be what? A mirror. A mirror, yeah. And when you use it as such, you know, you're validating this new idea. And all we're doing is flipping a switch. That's all we're doing, just flipping a switch. Uh, Jay, what, what, you, what? What is this? Yeah, what is that? An iron. An iron? Yes. Yes. Can I iron Sure, shirt? yeah. Yes, <laughs> please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. Well, wonderful, thank you. Appreciate that, yeah. And so, you know, we could, we could pretend and play that, uh, and I encourage you to think of some of your work, and this, this won't apply to everything, of course, but when you're in a creative state and when you're outside the box, when you're renaming things, you get a chance to look at something in a new way. You know, and just this simple exercise of using an object in a different way just kind of gets the synapse. What's that? It's not an iron, it's a hat. It's a hat, yeah. It's a nice hat. It's a nice you hat. You like my hat? Yes, in the rain. It's a party hat. It's a party hat, yeah. <laughs> So and and the whole idea of improvisation and thinking in a creative way is just accepting. I'm accepting exactly what he just told me. I'm not saying, Tom, it's not a hat. What are you stupid or something? You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, as a kid, as a kid, as a kid, we, we use those phrases all the time. You know, we did, what you know, that's not even close. I mean, we we a jerk, a loser. You know, all those phrases and. It, it had an emotional effect on us. So we don't, we're not choosing to be playful because of the beating up we did, you know, and the, and the trash talking, and, and that's not worth it. So, I mean, 3M has made their incredible amount of money on, on failures and mistakes. Um, they, but they continue, they continue to ask for, um, you know, trying and, and, and new, new ideas to come out from, from these uh, incubator uh, teams and, and their like uh, innovation engineering. engineering, yeah, with Doug Hall from originally from Maine, who worked for Procter and Gamble, and now is the, the brain child of, of this innovation engineering, and, and that Don's going to be part of, and I'm sure going to carry that through and beautifully because you know it it really it gives us an opportunity to really really uh, pay attention to things that we don't normally pay attention to, and um, I want to I want to be like a fly on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that entire course, you know, that's what I want to be. Um, Winston Churchill stood up in front of everybody at Cambridge University. He was, he was the guest speaker, right? And they gave him 12 minutes. Mr. Churchill, 12 minutes. And he's very old. It took him like a minute to get up to the podium. And he gets up there and he's, <laughs> he's just old. He's breathing hard. He goes like, you know, like this. He gets up and he goes, gets his breath and he goes, never give up. <laughs> that was it, you know, s- seven seconds, you know, for the, but, so the moderator gets up and he goes, oh, Mr. Churchill, he says, he's talking to his ear, you know, nobody can hear him, he says, 
we gave you 12 minutes, you know, we have to, could, you, could you take, could you just expound on that a little bit? There's a lot of graduates out here, you know, that they're waiting for your, your, your wisdom and you know, your experience. They got him back to the thing, he goes like this, he goes, never, ever give up. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And you, you get the sense that really creativity is about, you know, accepting the fact that you, you just might have some really cool ideas. But so often we just give up. We just give up. And collaboration is a great thing. I mean, you talked about, you know, eight minutes and that's it. It's over for the day. No, the brain break or a collaborative experience or a relationship jolt or an emotional, emotionally charged event uh, will, will, I think, give us a whole new set, a whole new refreshing kind of uh, experience in our brains. And the, the people who did this brain um, conference were, <laughs> they were real clear about this, you know. And even, they even practiced it. It was wonderful. They'd, they'd present for about eight minutes, you know, and then get everybody up, okay, shake six different people's hands and sit right back down. It only took 10 seconds, you know, 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and bing, everything was right back down. And everybody was like, their attention was way up, way up. Alertness was way up, you know. So you can, you can just kind of layer that as a filter on your work and interpret it and use it any way you want to with one-on-one, -on -one, you know, one-on-five, you know, in a large group. I think it's a valuable, valuable tool.